Hello friend, welcome to Salesforce tutorial. I am Prajukta Bhur from Paragate Technology. In our previous video, we learned how to create a custom object and the custom fields. Today, we will move toward the little bit development part. So, we will learn how to create a visual force page and what are the custom controller and the custom, sorry, standard controller. Okay. So, let's start and go to the search box type pages to create your visual force page. So, under the develop, you will find the visual force page. So, click on it and click on the new button. And here is the platform to create a visual force page. So, I will give the name as suppose demo page. Okay. This is what the label and this is the name of the page. So, I will save this page and by clicking on the preview button, you can run your visual force page. So, when I preview it, so this is what it look. Okay. So, let's remove this part and we will write our syntax here. So, always remember when you write, started writing the code in Visual Force page, then always remember your first attribute must be a big page. Okay. And your Visual Force page component or the attribute you can write under the Apex form. So, if I write Apex form and write um, let's say suppose yeah hello and if I save it and if I refresh this page then how it looks so we have just printed a hello keyword on the screen so suppose I so let's understand what is the Apex page block and if I give the title to the page block so let's take the title as a section and I will write hello under it and let's say quick save and refresh the page so this is what the apex page block look like okay so if i take the apex page block section okay and i will write that hello into the apex page block sorry i want to take apex page block section so here also section huh? and I will give the title to the big page block section. So I will just cut it and paste it and say save and refresh the page. So you, here you can see this is what the Apex page block section. So this is the difference between page block and the page block section. So let's uh, learn how to create the standard controller and what are the custom controller. So before start. If you are facing some, uh, you know, the attributes to learning the attributes of the visual force page, then you can go to the component reference button and you will find all the component. These all are the Salesforce component. So here is the usage of the component, how to use that. Suppose if I take the, um, yeah, Apex page block table or data table so this is what the use is that means how to write that code and this is the component detail so you can find the attributes of the component also okay so come back to the page i will tell you sub what are the standard controller so here if i take the standard controller and i will take standard controller as the account so and if i want to insert the account into the salesforce then how we will write the code so i will take the apex input field So input field and I will take the value so the object name dot the field name so the name is the field name and as we have taken the standard controller as the account so the name of the object is account so this is what the writing the syntax of the values that means the curly brackets and under the exclamatory sign okay so we have taken the input field so no need of giving the label to the field because the behavior okay i have taken the wrong spelling account yeah and we will save it so if we refresh the page then here you can see this is what the you know standard look and feel of the input field so account name is the label of the field this red line shows that this field is mandatory for the account when you are inserting the account you must insert the name and this is what the standard validation 
okay so if i want to store the account record into the salesforce i will use the apex command button to store the record so i will take the apex command button and method i will use the same so on the action i will write save okay and the value i will take as a save so let's save and refresh the page so you can here you can see this is what the command button okay so if i insert the record here as yeah prajakta and if i save this then it will create the account record here you can see this okay so let's apply some css and i will move this button into the middle size so right click on it and say inspect you can apply css here so i will take uh, margin left little bit middle yeah and i will just copy this css and i will just paste into the command button so for that i will take the style as an attribute and just paste it and say save so i will preview again and here it how it look okay so we didn't provide a definition for the save button still it gets saving because this is what the functionality of the standard controller because standard controller is auto generated by the salesforce for all the standard object okay it can uh, you know provide the quick functionality like save edit cancel delete or passing the record id also so suppose if you want to customize your page or you want to give some customization then you can write the custom controller so for that you have to take the controller and give the name of your controller so we will create the class so go to the search box and type classes so under the develop section you can find the apex classes click on it and here we will create our custom controller and the name of that custom controller we will provide into the controller okay so click on new button and create your custom controller here so i will take public class and the name of the class is demo class and i will save this so i will paste this name to my visual force page here so for i will comment this line because we haven't created any account object in our controller so i will comment it also i will comment this command button because we haven't created any save method yet okay and i will save this so once you save you have to give the definition for the save button you have to create the account object and this will be your controller so for example you want to use this custom controller and you want the standard controller facility also then how you will write it into the visual force page for that you have to take suppose i will write the standard controller that we have just used and i want to customize my page then we will use the extension keyword and give the name of your visual force page into the extension okay so if i save this it will show me the error because we haven't created constructor for this extension so click on this link and it will automatically uh, create the constructor for this particular class so if i refresh this i think it will get cancelled so again we have to find our class so just go to the classes and i will find my class that we have just created and the name is the demo class so it start with d so i will click on d and i will find my class there so when i open my class you will find the visual force page we create the constructor for the standard controller yeah and this is what the syntax of writing the constructor for the standard controller you have to mention in the constructor that apex page dot standard controller and this controller is the object of the standard controller okay 
this is very simple and when you save it gets saved so it's very simple you must try so you will learn how to create the standard controller or how to create the custom controller and what are the standard controller okay so thank you for watching this video guys to know about us you can visit www.paraguide.com and you can know about us on this website so thank you bye bye